because Gaza Health Authorities have said uh, at least 112 people were killed, more than 280 wounded uh, yesterday as they waited for an aid delivery uh, in Gaza. We're joined by Dr. Bazem Nahim, member of the uh, Political Bureau of Hamas and a former health minister. Um, Dr. Bazem, uh, your reaction to this attack yesterday? Uh, good morning. Uh, I think Israel, despite of all international calls, uh, despite of all international resolutions, uh, the ICG decisions to stop this uh, genocide against our people, to, at least to protect the civilians and to allow aid to come into Gaza. Uh, uh, unfortunately, yesterday, uh, while uh, thousands of people, hungry people in a very cold weather, we're waiting for some food coming from uh, the south through Rafah towards the Gaza city. Uh, suddenly, they uh, were uh, shot uh, by Israeli tanks. Uh, at least 112 uh, killed and uh, hundreds uh, seriously wounded. I'm sure of those wounded, uh, uh, some of them or a lot of them will be uh, will die soon because of lacking of medicine, uh, collapsing uh, health uh, system. Uh, and also because their wounds are very serious and no one can transport uh, them outside the country for treatment abroad. Now, um, uh, Dr. Bassam, you'll be aware that Israel are challenging uh, your version of, of events. Uh, can I just play you a, a, a clip from the Israeli Defence Forces Rear Admiral uh, Daniel Hagan? I hope Hagen. not, I hope not, I hope not because I am sorry I cannot hear this very bad and very low quality propaganda all the countries, including the allies of the of Israel, have have admitted that this is a crime against humanity. Sure, and it sure. is clearly we have seen footages from the Israeli army itself showing why at the time they have shelled the tanks have uh, fired the people. I am sorry, I cannot hear this. Uh, I, 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 otherwise, I will quit the interview because I cannot keep uh, the odd your your respectful honourable audience. To hear such a rubbish propaganda. Sorry. Okay. See, all right. I, I, I mean, I do have to put to you just again for those for those listeners. What the? I mean, they, they, I think you'll agree our listeners deserve to get the full uh, picture, the full story, and uh, I, I, what the Israeli defence forces. And I'm, I'm giving you the opportunity to challenge that or refute that. But you will be aware what they are saying. Uh, they are saying that um, most of those killed were were run over um, uh, by the uh, aid trucks as as panic ensued. Look, uh, look, look, uh, I am a professional surgeon and I am a former minister of health. Uh, Overcrowdedness cannot, uh, cannot cut or amputate lower limbs and upper limbs, cannot uh, penetrate uh, the bodies, uh, we are dealing clearly with explosive injuries, with penetrating injuries. Again, this uh, rubbish, uh, very low quality propaganda is not acceptable anymore. And everyone, I don't think that the allies of Israel itself in Europe, in America, when they condemn this crime, they are not aware about such uh, press statements, which is only to... Uh, undermine the reality to undermine the the real image of Israel as a as a as a racist and fascist uh, government okay um the the impact that this awful event w- will have on ceasefire negotiations what impact will that have do you think i am sure this will have a very very negative impact and maybe could lead because we are in the movement seriously thinking to quit uh, these negotiations, if the Israelis are not ready to uh, to stop these massacres and genocide, look, if the international community today and the uh, mediators and the EU and including the United States, if they are not uh, able to secure our people some food or some protection while they are searching for food, how can they are uh, guarantee a full comprehensive ceasefire? and the total withdrawal of the Israeli army from the Gaza Strip. Okay. We cannot believe that they cannot do it. They can do it. 
Dr. Bassem Naeem, member of the Political Bureau of Hamas, former health minister. Thank you for talking to News Talk Breakfast this morning.